Okay, we're at 4150 Van Horn in the city of Los Angeles. We're running from a three inch clean out in back of the house by the watershed. Uh, we're all the way out at the city sewer in the middle of the street. You can see it floating by there. Um, you do share the lateral, the six inch lateral in the street with your neighbor. That's face to the left of you if you're faced uh, on the street towards the house. Um, let's go ahead and bring the camera back. So this is your connection to the city. Your responsibility starts from this point coming back. This is a six inch concrete pipe which this all looks pretty good. This is like pre-1930, 1940s, somewhere like that. This is pretty cool. Coming back, all six inch concrete pipe, looks pretty good. We are gonna see a section of six inch clay pipe coming up here. This is the section of six inch clay, so this is probably added on by the city. Maybe they, they did a repair in the street and they replaced a little section. Oh, cool. Six inch clay coming back here back to six inch concrete and it looks pretty clean you can see it's nice there's no roots in the line okay we're going to be coming onto the property this is actually on the neighbor's property and it's going to transition from six inch concrete to four inch uh, four inch clay this is where your neighbor ties in right here okay that's in their driveway that's underneath their driveway okay, Okay, so you can see that's their pipe sticking in into the six inch. So coming back, this is the four inch clay pipe. Now this is coming across and then eventually coming underneath your property. This also looks like it's in pretty fair shape. That was a little to break right there though. It's a little bit of a shift. Yeah. Very common if you see. But there's no roots in trees. There's no that. roots. This is where they, the two pieces of pipe come together. Sometimes what they do is they kick them a little bit. Mm to make the angle, instead of using a 45 or a 22, they just kick the pipe a little bit. So it's but not that's a, a... That's not a break. Keep not going. a break. Coming back, four inch clay pipe. You see they kicked it here too, so the, you see it's got a little bit of a shift at the top. All four inch clay pipes still that we're in, you can see very minor roots there, very small. Very minor. Some more minor roots here. here as well and these are coming in from the joint so it's not actually the pipe is broken or anything it's just where the two pieces of pipe to come together back then what they did is they wrapped them in concrete mm -hmm. and over time the concrete cracks and that's how the roots get in. you got some roots here as well and like like I said these roots can be maintained with the with the hydrojet or a snake I definitely recommend installing a cleanup because from here it's going to be very difficult to clean that Okay, we should be coming on the side of the house here. You can see you do have minor roots at the joints. We're gonna make a turn. We're gonna transition to ca cast iron pipe. So it's making a turn here. And now we're gonna transition to cast iron here. This is still clay. No, this is cast iron. This is the cast iron going through the footing, which also looks like it's in good shape. You can see here, it's got a little bit more rust buildup on the sides of the pipe. So when you have a pipe that, you know, with cast iron, you got to be very careful with what you flush, like you know, tampons, baby wipes, paper towels. Those things can get caught on the rough edges of the cast iron. And then we transition ABS plastic, which this has all been replaced underneath the house. We did see a few low spots. Right there. That's a little bit minor, not nothing severe. You'll see when you come back, you see there's a, there's a little bit more of a low spot. That's just steam and gas. All ABS plastic. Okay, so I'll show you that. Where's that flat spot? Somewhere around here I saw it going in. It might have been paper in the pipe, so that's why I had you flush everything. Uh -huh. But let's just have a good look coming back, make sure there's no flat spots. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to stop the camera. You can see how it's completely submerged in water. This is going to be a problem because things will collect in that right. section of pipe. So we definitely recommend regrading that because it's definitely got a flat spot. I'm just gonna keep coming back. You can see we're completely submerged. And you see how dirty the water is? Yeah. You see how I stop it goes completely black, meaning solids are collecting there. So we're now we're about 10 feet, still underwater. And now we're coming out. Okay. See? So we have about I would say about 15, good 15 feet to fix. to fix. And then this is all plastic coming back, coming up out of the clean out. I'm going to show you that. 
show you where we're at. Here we are on the side of the house. You guys want to say hi? Hi. There we go.